I've received a few questions about how I deleted my vacuum pump and how I have my catch can run on my LV3 motor. So I wanted to make a quick video to help everyone. This is my setup on the truck. It might be hard to see. It's night and I don't have the greatest camera. There's your catch can set up coming from the valve cover to the intake. And behind it is where my brake booster is run. I've got a motor on a stand, so let's walk over to it. If you're running a new LV3 motor, you do not have a spot for a vacuum pump. If you have an older motor and you just want to delete it, you can put two plugs in there the same way you do on the V8. Now, where do you get vacuum for your brake booster? Come right over to your stock intake manifold. Come here. You're just going to drill this out. Take a half inch fitting, place it right here, screw it in, glue it in, whatever you guys want to do. Then a half inch rubber hose over the hard line from your brake booster to the intake manifold. You're good to go. For the catch can, we're on the driver's side. This is your factory hose. You pop that bad boy off. Valve cover to the inlet side of the catch can. Outlet side of the catch can into the intake manifold. So now you can run your catch can. And if you want, you can delete your vacuum pump and still have vacuum for your brake booster.